For Jim Watson, chocolate is his life. Since birth, actually, I've been in since birth. Uh, we always say that uh, we were suckled on chocolate milk. I know you can't use that, but it's funny anyway. <laughs> Actually, it's too funny not to use. For 65 years now, Watson's Chocolates has been making people smile with their confection concoctions. And the locally owned, family run business has kept three generations of Watson's very busy, especially around Easter. So we're really slamming right now. Oh, this is the high point of the whole year. It is just mad crazy. Before most of us have rolled out of bed, this team of candy makers are pumping out treats of every size, shape, and flavor. Milk chocolate, we have dark chocolate, white chocolate, uh, we have sugar-free chocolate as well. But nothing is as popular as their sponge candy. Yeah, the sponge will rise for about another two hours, and then it will start to cool. And it has to cool for 12 hours, then we can actually cut it. And then it goes through two curtains of chocolate and then it goes through a long cooling tunnel and by the time it comes off it's in perfect temper and it's cool and ready to be packed into boxes. And while sponge candy has always been big here locally, it's starting to catch on all over the country. And while success in the marketplace is nice, for the folks at Watson's, it's the smiles they bank on. Those are things that, that you can't judge by dollars. They're just, uh, it just gives you a good feeling about being a Western New Yorker. In Tonawanda, Adam Francis, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.